we are back with the 98 Ninja 500 and <laughs> I stripped out all the plastic and I put it on that bike and it's beautiful but now uh, I did put the uh, mud guard I got from uh, eBay on there and <clears throat> I'm gonna and I hooked up the lights so now I'm going to take this bracket off so I can get the air box off so I can get to the carbs and I'm sure the carbs are going to be need to be rebuilt they're pretty crusty and uh, you know I'll clean up the engine a little bit uh, check out ooh, there's some water up in there I have to blow all that out and um, I have to drain the radiator and refill it with antifreeze and after that I'll change the oil well I'll put oil in it <laughs> and see if it'll crank and then once I get it cranked and running then I'll change the oil so that is the checklist carbs came out pretty easy they are <laughs> quite crusty though um, I just wire brush the outside just to make it look good but then I'll check uh, the diaphragm and all that make sure everything's good take it apart check the bowls check the jets um, ultrasonic clean the jets all that good stuff surprisingly the uh, air filter looks good and it's even a a K and N so I'll just have to eh, I don't even have to blow it out I don't think I just I think it's it's fine the way it is I, I think they changed it and they never ran it because it looks basically brand new up I'll, I'll give it a little spray of uh, WD-40 you know to oil it up but yeah it looks <laughs> that's that's a plus yeah and uh, everything looks good. All right, on to the carbs. Moment of the truth. I have not opened these yet. I pulled the screws out, so let's look at it together. Oh boy, not surprised. Look at that mess. Syrup. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be re replacing these, uh, these jets. That one's not too bad. That one, yeah. They're gonna be spending some time in the ultrasonic cleaner. Like my clean work bench here. <laughs> All right, moving on. Carbs are done. These were stuck, but I got some uh, PB blaster there and so they're working good I uh, cleaned up a little bit there's a little bit of waft nest in there but that's right it's better it's not perfect but definitely a lot better than it was oh I got one more piece I gotta put back right there it's for the, uh, the choke bracket and then uh, I'm gonna put it back on the bike 98 Ninja. I pulled, <laughs> I went to go pull the spark plug cap and it's pretty nasty. So, and then of course the wire came out, so I'm gonna have to rewire that. And looking down the right cylinder, doesn't look too bad. It still has some crud on it, but the uh, left cylinder side was pretty crusty focus here and I uh, sprayed some carb cleaner come on focus sprayed some carb cleaner down in there and it's pretty crusty I don't know if I can get that out I'm gonna have to clean it out some more and hopefully not break the spark plug so 
That's next. Here's the right cylinder spark plug. It's uh, pretty crudded up, <laughs> but looks like it'll clean up pretty well. I did use a separate spark plug and I checked and I am getting spark. So that's one step closer. Um, this doesn't look too bad. I just have to clean that out. Get some, uh, get a, get a rag or something. And uh, the cylinder looks eh. But yeah, I'll, I'll clean it out. Spray a little, uh, little WD-40 or something in there. And yeah, it'll flush into the engine, but it's not a big deal. Uh, it'll, it'll shoot it out. Not perfect, but that's uh, what you deal with with a old bike. Okay, cleaned up the spark plug, regapped it, cleaned out the socket, and uh, make sure it got spark. Everything's got spark, so the right cylinder is good to go as far as spark plug goes. <laughs> I still have to clean that one out. Eesh. All right, I cleaned it up to be better <laughs> it's still pretty crusty down in there but uh, yeah it's uh, it's good enough to where I can try to pull the spark plug out now uh, here's that spark plug surprisingly it looks pretty good um, it's it looks like it was running uh, rich given the uh, the darkness of the spark plug but I can actually pretty probably clean this up and make sure I got spark and then gap it regap it put it back in so cosmetically it looks pretty pretty bad but I think I can clean it up and get it working all right I cleaned it up um, I forgot to check for a spark but I'm sure I'm sure it sparks so now I'm gonna hook up my IV bottle and see if it runs moment of the truth I got the IV bottle hooked up and uh, filling up the carbs so should be enough gas in there to see if it starts now all right let's see here power on kill switch on start baby start <laughs> This was working earlier. Hang on, let me see. Might have to spray some uh, electronic cleaner in here. Yeah, this uh, switch was a little dirty, so I sprayed some carb cleaner actually on it. And then, of course, the starter relay was just full of um, varnish. So I don't, I don't know how varnish <laughs> gets all the way back there, but here we go. Give it a little choke. Hmm. Well, she cranks, so let me work on it till uh, till she starts. brakes put in I sucked out the old brake fluid and I put in fresh brake brake fluid which is clear that's what new brake fluid is supposed to look like <laughs> this is what the brake fluid inside the uh, the caliper looks like so and just to show you <laughs> there's no there's no pressure right now so as soon as I get the old brake fluid out of there, she should she should brake pretty good. Um, I checked the pads; the pads are good. The rear brakes, Brad, the rear brake pads are toast. So uh, I bought new rear brake pads, and uh, so that'll be the next thing I do after I get these calipers or this caliper let out, fixed. 
Got the uh, got the brake working. Reservoir is nice and full. And brake fluid is clear. Now onto the back.